more time at home and away from friends and family. Liz Dirling from Newbury in Berkshire emailed us at world at one at bbc.co.uk and she wrote, Dear Sarah, I'm a hands-on grandmother of five but stopped seeing my grandchildren two weeks ago for the foreseeable future. It felt like a bereavement. So I decided to maintain daily contact through Nana's Daily Quiz. Five questions sent on a whole range of subjects. So far we've done penguins, slow worms, daffodils, sports cars, healthy food. What a success. The children love their research. I've got an absorbing daily activity. And when we talk, the children and I have something in common to discuss. I can thoroughly recommend it, she says. And she joins us now. Good afternoon. Hello. Why have these quizzes been so successful, do you think? I think that it's because I've had such contact with the children and they maintain that contact and they have someone different to talk to during the day too. Right, and they and you, I, I don't know how you just settle on what you're going to quiz them on. Do they have an input? Um, the boys ask for some thought questions. Um, but generally, I do. we do a lot of gardening. There's lots of outdoor questions. So we've done things about daffodils and uh, woodpeckers, anything like that that they could perhaps think about and perhaps enjoy a bit later. Does it mean that it's easier to talk to them than if you were just having a regular conversation? Oh, so much easier. When you, when you try and talk to children over the phone, you ask them questions and you get very short answers. But now you've got something in common to talk about and you can dig a bit deeper and um, they love it. And actually, they're now asking for bonus points if they put in extra questions. <laughs> How are you going to keep it going though? Because actually it's quite hard coming up with a quiz. Well, you just pick a subject and you work out five subjects for um, five days and then just sit down and work out some questions for them. Right, and and so can you give us an example? I mean, we may be asking you for your questions in your quiz in the days ahead. Right, um, we did baby penguins one day and that was great fun because um, some of them then used a rugby ball to transfer um, the egg from one person to another, like penguins. So baby pe penguins' eggs have to be moved. Um, we've done capital cities, daffodils, um, keeping healthy, sports, um, continents. It, you know, it, it, you only have to pick one subject and do a few questions and they're away. And do you do it on the phone or do you do it on, on some way where you can see each other? Um, largely, I send them an email in the morning. And then they come back either with written answers or they, um, they ring me up in the evening and say what they've been doing. And do they ever criticise your question? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a quality bar that you have to keep. Yes, um, no doubt they're going to pick some holes in some of my answers sometimes, but that's all right, I can cope with that. How many grandchildren? I've got five. five. I've got five, but they're also, um, we've got some friends in Switzerland, and they've got three children, so they're doing the quiz as well now. Okay, so you may find that even more people are asking for your quiz. Well, that's fine, but it's, you know, it's, uh, everyone has to join in and do what they can do. Well, Liz uh, Doling, thank you very much. Good luck with the quiz, and we might follow up to extend its uh, use amongst others. Thank you very much for, for joining us today. And uh, I should let you know that I, earlier, I uh, think stupidly said that it's a car's length. I guess it depends how long your car is, but two metres, the distance we're all meant to be keeping apart. I said it's car's length, but a number of people online have said, you mean the width of a car, not the length of the car. Apparently the width, including wing mirrors, but I guess it depends how long your car is. Uh, as for how long, the, I noticed the BB, um, and imagine double that distance, and that's how far apart you need to be. Now then, uh, just a, a reminder of our main headlines this lunchtime before we go. The Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, has uh, described people who are ignoring social distancing advice as very selfish. He said the government was willing to take more action if the guidance continued to be flouted. Senior Labour figures have called for more extensive restrictions. And Downing Street has said it will examine data on the usage of public transport and private cars before deciding whether to press emergency legislation with grant powers aimed at tackling the pandemic is going to be debated by MPs this afternoon. Now then, uh, just before we go, uh, I should let you know, first of all, that PM is at 4.30. As usual, there's a government press conference this afternoon. 
Um, that uh, is pretty much it from us. But before we go, we thought 